You're literally doing blackface yeah. me later. in the middle yeah. of the store. That's Lester Holt did whiteface. Nobody said <laughs> Where's your pride section? I need to know. We're past. Oh, I thought they were celebrating this and they took our flag forever. No, I was wrong. My bad. I don't shop at Target. I just take pictures. Join me. Post it on my Facebook, please. My Facebook friends love it. Meet Ursilia Campbell, a Denver resident who went to Target on Wednesday in full blackface and demanded to see the store's selection of pride clothing, something Target hasn't had in stock since June. Campbell is one of many Republicans encouraged by the right-wing media to heckle businesses that they view as supportive of gay and trans Americans. And this isn't the first time Campbell has been in trouble. Stick around until the end, folks. You really aren't going to guess how this wraps up. A post made to Campbell personal Facebook page reveals that she once worked for the post office, but her job was terminated for unclear reasons. And judging by the poster declaring her a trespass risk, it's pretty clear she didn't leave on good terms. And Campbell's tirade at Target wasn't the only thing she filmed. I mean, take a look at this mess. I was wondering if you think this is a good idea. Somebody took my black paint out of my office where it really all started when I got chased to Michael's by a bunch of crazy people with lights but um, um i found some really interesting people at the post office that are triggering me this morning um a, a f especially um and i need to fish out some other people yeah who would ever think the lady in blackface is a racist what a weird thing to think. And yeah, Campbell was apparently also throwing glitter during her bizarre visit to Target. Hey, Facebook. I'm looking for a job today. I'm at Starbucks. I never treat myself to Starbucks since the post office got rid of me. Um, I barely treated myself to Starbucks when I was working there. I couldn't afford it. Trump is coming. I'm showing my face. I have somebody across from me that's showing his too. I'll post his picture later. It's hilarious. You guys have got to see this. Anyway, uh, wish me luck. I'm going to the post office for a job. It will never recognize my picture now. It's not surprising that things are a little cloudy in Campbell's mind right now. And her disturbing Facebook video led several friends to ask about her mental health and whether her family was even aware of her increasingly bizarre behavior. You can put me on the FBI wanted list. <laughs> Have a good day. I'm gonna have me a Nakai refresher, okay? If you want um, the rest, or the if you want what this stuff is, and if you've never had it, you've got to come down to Starbucks. I'm off of Mississippi and 225. Okay. Stay tuned. It's gonna be candid camera, lights, camera, action today. They'll never recognize me. <laughs> And several hours later, Campbell made another post to Facebook. In a lengthy message about God and paying for her family's sins, Campbell announced that she'd been taken to UC Health on a psychiatric hold. It's unclear right now who made the call to take her in. In the post, she claims that her mother had a black boyfriend and that she's paying for the generational sins and curses of her family. And at the very end, she implores her friends, no pictures. I look like a nutcase. Please understand, I'm not crazy. You don't say. Campbell's Facebook page contains nearly a dozen blackface videos from just the past day, as well as posts about aliens impersonating postal workers, and of course, posts about taking America back for Jesus Christ. It's unclear whether Campbell has been released from her psychiatric hold, and her family has so far made no public statement about her nearly day-long racist tirade. Campbell's behavior is a sad new normal for the right, so stay safe out there, folks. Just everybody have a great day. Your best day. Bye. And if you want even more depression, check out this video about the GOP's war on social security. In order for us to tame the tiger, we're going to have to take a serious look at the overall entitlement state that we have. Remember to check out my new solo YouTube channel, The Third Degree with Max Burns. And as always, leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.